Hello, Dart Pivot Productions here, and in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make artificial camera movement or camera shake or whatever you want to call it. So let's begin. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to make yourself levitate between two buildings. So I'm going to use that as an example for this tutorial. So what you want to do is you after if if you are just coming to this tutorial after following the uh, levitating tutorial, sorry, just went blank for a minute. Uh, after following the levitation tutorial, then uh, what you want to do is you want to render that video out as a video file and then bring it back into After Effects. If you haven't done that already, then pause the video and do it now. So we're going to import that video. I'm going to find it and it's right here. What? Okay, that was odd, but it works. Okay, make it into a new composition. And uh, there I am levitating across. Across. So, what you want to do is you want to get a video of yourself. Here, here's, an, here's the example. Filming something with two contrast points at least. And I used this point and this point. And I just filmed it with all the camera shake that I wanted. Camera movement. So I just held the camera like that. Maybe give it a little extra shake because I can hold it kind of steady really. <laughs> After a lot of experience with camera operating and stuff. It's just a little handheld camera. Um, uh, yes, I have an iPod Touch, dog. It doesn't matter. So, yeah. And this clip is exactly the same length as the levitation clip. Actually, it's like, like a quarter of a second longer. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to do the first five seconds for this tutorial. Make a short one. So what you want to do is you want to go to your workspace and go to motion tracking if you're not already there click track motion oh actually here, move this to the top okay I messed up there don't worry about the don't worry hold on let me fix it up okay you're gonna go to layer new not solid crap layer new null object there we go sorry about that and I'm gonna rename it motion capture data okay dat <laughs> and we're going to click track motion and we're going to get this file and for some reason didn't pop up and uh, click position rotation and if you have any zooming in or just like moving your camera forward or backwards then you scale and we're going to pick our contrast points uh, for this clip they need to be fairly big so that they have a better track it doesn't with this kind of motion tracking it doesn't really have to be perfect because you're you're not gonna actually see the motion tracking so I think that that would be good so I'm gonna just render the first I'm gonna do, analyze the first five seconds of this so here we go and it seems to stay on very well it's nice <coughs> sorry about that doop -de doop -de doo and there we go so it stays on pretty well so we're going to go to edit target and make sure it's on motion capture data click OK and then click apply make sure it's X and Y click OK and there we go so now as you can see here, here it is moving around nice so what we're going to do 
is we can delete that video file of the motion tracking that we use for motion tracking and you can even just make that invisible so now you're going to take the video file go to this parent tool and pick whip it to the motion to the null object so now if you look at it it's gonna move around and it looks pretty cool but still what the crap what you want to do is you want to scale it up a little bit this is why if you're using an image you want to have a good high resolution image and move it to the center there and make sure it doesn't move off scale that up more and hey what do you know it works so there it is you have your nice video here and it actually looks pretty realistic whoa I'm levitating whoa and then it stops because that's all I did so uh, there you have it it's simple as that uh, dark pivot out